Coco Goff and Brad Gilbert, the perfect pair, no more, as it was announced just the other day that Goff and Gilbert will split. And we know that this was a great coaching and player duo, as we saw it last year in the U.S. Open. So this news kind of a bit of a shock. So with that being said, I guess let's first get everybody caught up to speed, just in case you guys kind of miss how all this played itself out. Brad Gilbert, very active on Twitter, or as it's known now as X. And Gilbert is the one that announced that news by saying on the platform, thanks to Coco Goff and the entire team for an absolutely amazing summer run in 2023 and for 14 months of incredible team effort. Coco, at just 20 years young, your future is incredibly bright and I wish you nothing but continued success ahead. I'm excited for the next chapter in my coaching career. And then Goff, of course, responding by sharing this photo that's up on your screen, and she tweeted, Thank you, Brad Gilbert. We had an incredible run, and I wish you all the best in the future. So, obviously, both Gilbert and Goff, very classy ways of handling this. And again, kind of like I said there a little bit in the introduction there, as you want to get into the weeds on this here a little bit, is that this is absolutely kind of a surprising news. I know there's been some rough moments for Goff uh, recently here, but overall, it's been a great stretch here. They started working together last year after Wimbledon, and Goff went on that incredible run and won the U.S. Open. This year, made the Australian Open semis, made the French Open semis, but obviously outside of that, obviously some very rough moments. And I guess the only other thing here left to say is, I guess, what is next for both Gilbert and Goff? For Gilbert, I think the answer is kind of, Easy. He's going to continue his broadcasting career, and I'm sure he's going to find other players to work with because he's been a great coach for a very long time. But for Goff, still a little bit of an uphill battle here in 2024 because if you look at the WTA ranking, guys, she is ranked number six. So being in that position, obviously, number one, she's not qualified yet, but there are some players right at her heels. Emma Navarro right on her he on her heels. And Navarro obviously beat Goff at both Wimbledon and the U.S. Open. Navarro, I wouldn't be surprised at all if she passed Goff out by the end of the year. But you also have Daniel Collins in the mix here as well. Collins not super far behind. So this isn't a layup for Goff to make the WTA Finals at the end of the year. Going to be interesting to see if she balances everything now. And not having Gilbert in her corner. Needing a big performance here towards the end of 2024. We'll see how it all plays itself out. But anyway, guys, the big news here, Coco Goff, Brad Gilbert, no longer working together here as we go on in the future here.